In this lesson, we're going to learn various ways we can enhance and change a clip. I call this lesson Clip Tricks. There's a lot here, so make sure to focus your attention, follow along, try things out while I talk, and make the most of your practice time because there's a lot to learn here. First up is trimming. But before we begin, let's lower our audio just so that it doesn't interfere with our work. And we can raise the volume up later. But to trim a clip in the project timeline, you first have to click on the clip, then hold down the R key and drag it around the portion you'd like to keep. So let's say I don't want the entire clip from the approach of the tornado to when it hits the house. Let's say I just want the portion where it hits the house. Then I can put my cursor or my range box around just that, then go up to modify, trim selection. I also, I'm gonna undo that. I'm gonna control Z. Um, and it's back to the way it was. I can also repeat this by selecting the clip, pressing R and dragging a range of things that I want to keep, and then selecting option forward slash. And you can see that the shortcut works just fine. And lastly, I want you to note that if you do accidentally trim your clip too much, you can easily correct it by just sliding your clip to the in point or out point that you desire. Next are slip edits. And if you want to trim your clip very precisely, control click the clip and choose show clip trimmer. And this window will appear and you'll notice the two white lines. In between is the section of your video that is currently in your timeline. So if you do want to change in or out points, you can do so precisely here by changing the white line. But a slip is actually a little different. If you right click, I'm control clicking it and slide the clip back and forth. The length of the clip won't change, but the in and out points will. It will come in most handy when you want a certain scene to appear with your music. That's how most editors find the slip edit most useful. Another clip trick is a split. Often you want to split a clip to add a close-up or other appropriate footage. For instance, this clip here shows the drone flying over the town. Maybe I want to add the video footage of the town taken from the drone. To do so, simply right click and press split clip and it will split just where the playhead is. Select the footage from your browser and press W. There it is between the clip. Remember, W places the footage right where the playhead is. For a split clip, you can also press Command B. That's the keyboard shortcut. If you split a clip accidentally, let's delete this, and let's say this split here is accidental, you can highlight both clips by pressing Shift and clicking on both, then go up to Modify, join clips. And voila, it's like no split ever happened. If I didn't want to split the clip, another thing I could do is simply place the drone clip on top of the footage of the drone flying above the town and avoid a split altogether. So for instance, if I dragged this and edited it it somewhat. Let's see where it enters. That's a little early. That's about right. I don't want sound. That's called a cutaway. And the keyboard shortcuts for cutaways is Command plus Q. The clip on top will show up in one's movie and hide the other clip underneath it. 
Often people add cutaways to add detail and images to what someone is talking about during an interview, for example. Data. It's just fun to go out into the field and see the data that's collected in real time and start to get ideas about what's happening in the atmosphere that leads to these sometimes severe storms. This way the footage is not only footage of a talking head, which can get rather boring. Editors call this additional footage B-roll. So we have lots of clip tricks to try. We have trims and splits, cutaways, slips. Go ahead and find one to, to try out and practice. Believe it or not, there's a few more clip tricks I'd like to show you. We're going to start with the crop tool. And the crop tool is located right here. Cropping means you zoom in on a portion of your clip or you zoom out. Click on the cropping tool and you'll find that three styles come up. Now the first one is fit and we're looking at this clip. But if we had a photo that didn't fit the window, this clip actually has black on both sides as part of the clip, so it does fit the window. But if it didn't, it would enlarge the clip or our footage here to fit the window. Now, crop to fill is a little different. It puts a rectangular box around the footage. Let's say we wanted to get rid of this black on the side. We can enlarge our clip by clicking on it and zooming in. And you can see we lose part of the clip. We don't lose a portion that's really of much value though. So that is now the black won't show. I'm going to click the check mark at right here and accept what I've done. And you can see we have no black at all. So that is clip to fill. If you click on Ken Burns under the cropping tool, you're going to see two boxes, one that says end and one that says start. And what Ken Burn does is it's a very popular um, effect. It starts with this clip at the beginning and it will end way out here showing some of the black. Now we don't want that, so let me find another clip. And let's just use the drone clip. So here we have Ken Burns selected. And if I accept the clip, you can see that it zooms in closer and closer based upon where the box says start and end. And you can always adjust these boxes too, which is actually really nice to know. Let's say I don't want it zoomed in that much. I can adjust, I can move it. You can, use, you can adjust the end as well. Maybe I want to zoom in on the camera. All right, so that's Ken, Ken Burns. I'm going to accept that, and we'll take a look at the footage. You can rotate footage, too, when the crop tool is checked or selected. I'm going to turn this drone footage upside down by clicking on it and then clicking on one of these rotation boxes. So it'll rotate it 90 degrees and then 180. So just to know that you can do that, it's very helpful when you bring in footage that is more vertical than horizontal, meaning it stands tall and doesn't fill up the frame. The last two clip tricks we're going to learn today are picture-in-picture -picture clips and side-by-side -side clips. If you add a clip on top of another, you'll notice the cutaway tab. Let's, um, let's use this clip with the drone heading towards the town, and let's add that. I don't want the sound. But now, if I double click on it and go up to the arrow under cutaway and do split screen, 
I can see the drone and uh, it flying. So let's take a look at that. Okay, not exactly perfect, but you get the idea. The other thing you can do is double click on that and click on picture in picture. And you can reposition that. What you can control though in picture in picture you should know. You can add a little transition at both ends when you begin and end the clip. You can put a border around the image and the color is black and you can do a drop down shadow as well and you can see that shadow there. So side by side and picture in picture are nice tools to have and they add a little professional touch to your videos. <laughs>